Alright folks, here we go. Big time main event. It's time to find out which of the two WrestleOcalypse World title challengers is going to pick up the big momentum right here tonight. Out comes Tony Locker, the winner of the Season 3 Gauntlet for Glory match. As he's about to take on the Season 2. What? The Minotaur Michael Minatelli. What the hell? Oh, God. He never said Matt Mills. He just said M-Double. They have the same initials. God damn it, the bait and switch by Frenchie and Matt. Son of a bitch, and Lockard has to be steamed. He's going at this match nonetheless. He just wants a piece of somebody from Lubeck Lucha Libre. There's Michael Minatelli, challenged for the PCW Intercontinental Championship at the Gauntlet for Glory. He was not part of the Gauntlet for Glory match. Oh, there's that discus forearm by Locker. Locker, look at this. Locker had the performance of the ages in the Gauntlet for Glory match. So survival time of 45 minutes, 56 seconds. That is the single match survival time record. Oh, look at that great reversal by Minatelli. Oh, look at that. Look at that, just chopping away at Locker, just keeping the wrist control while doing it. Locker with, follows up with his, one of his signature forearms, really centered his move set around that technique. Oh, God. Look at this lock, locker set right into the right into the corner. Minatelli with a kick to the vicious kick to the midsection. Folks, Michael Minatelli is a blue chip prospect, but he he is no slouch. He is he has put a lot of hours into the ring, and it's really starting to show right here tonight. What an opportunity for Michael Minatelli! Not gonna do very well with the Germans. Oh, look at this. Oh, went for the chop again. There's a second German suplex to the Minotaur. What an opportunity this is for Michael Minatelli to gain a victory over the man who will, no matter what, be headlining WrestleOcalypse 3 in Las Vegas. There's Tony Lockard, the cousin of the PhD of Strong Style, Adam Morgullis. And I have to believe that that plays a big factor in how motivated he was in the Gauntlet for Glory match. He survived 45 minutes and somehow only eliminated, had to eliminate the last competitor in the match. Modified camel clutch there. Wait, what? No kidding. I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah, I'll tell them right now. Folks, it's coming in from the production truck. A major, major announcement for next week. Next week, the PhD of Strong Style, Adam Morgullis, will defend the PCW World Heavyweight Championship against the man who put him on the shelf in the early going of season two here in PCW, the destroyer Pat Smith. And folks, I don't I don't exactly know why the booking committee has made that matchup, but I'll drink to that. Of course, no matter what what the outcome of that, folks, Tony Lockard. Oh look at that butterfly lock. Butterfly lock. Great ring positioning too. That's that's a signature hold by Minatelli that Lockard barely manages to escape. And this one will continue. Uh, folks, this is a very interesting stylistic matchup right here. But Minatelli going low, throwing those hand, throwing those kicks, throwing those forearms. Minatelli a kind of a hybrid between the striking style that has really taken over the past year or so. And uh, uh, really a base in British wrestling. With a lot of influence in William Regal, Fit Finley, Johnny Saint. Look at this. I don't know. He's going to have to take the tubes to Concussion City in the UK. Lockhart standing him right back up, keeping the pressure on. Look at this. Oh, no. Minutelli counters the tilt to world pile driver. 
Now look at this. Now going down to Lockard's legs. Oh, God. We saw one of these earlier by the St. Shane Mullen. Oh, God. India Deathlock. Look at the way he's bending the ankle of Lockard there. Minatelli, I think he smells blood in the water. What a blow this would be to Tony Lockard right here tonight. The, the, how deflating it would be for him to lose a, a match just four or so weeks away from WrestleOcalypse 3. He needs to be winning matches. He needs to keep the momentum in his training camp. Lockard may be calling for something big right here. Uh, maybe faking him out, though, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. No, it's fucking Frenchie. I thought he left. I thought he left. No, look at this. Locker. Locker ducks that hook kick. Locker going in for it. Locker going right after Frenchie. This is who he wanted anyway. No! Seth strike. Oh, God. Here comes TM Veg. He wasn't even booked tonight. TM Veg. He heard Frenchie was going to be in the building, and now he's trying to get him some. Look at that. Oh, there, finally. Finally, TM Veg and Frenchie going at it. Frenchie, Frenchie tossing TM Veg to the outside. Locker going after Frenchie. Oh, God. Left himself exposed for that shot to the kidneys. Oh, saved by the ropes right there. Now Frenchie right back into the ring. God damn it. It's bad enough that he bait and switched us. Thought we were going to get Matt Mills. And now getting involved in this match, trying to take away the momentum of Tony Lockhart. I don't even think he's really trying to help his Lubeck Lucha Libre comrade. TM Veg, I think what you know, once he saw that saw that Frenchie was gonna be in the building, you know, high tailed his ass over here to the field house. So tie up. Minatelli, oh, look at that, Walker countered. Look at, presses him up high and sends him face first into the canvas. This Locker likely doesn't even know that the match has been made between Smith and Morgullis. Get a little butterfly lock once again, but this time Walker quickly able to get to the ropes. Of course, I know Tony Locker has been on record saying that he felt responsible that he felt played that because, because he was the one who invited Adam Morgellis back to PCW a little over, just a little under a year ago. There's a discus forearm by Lockard. Tell you, look at that, look at that. Look at those kicks to, right to the head. Pinfall attempt, but Lockard once again still too close to the ropes. Folks, Minatelli has had a good showing so far here in this bout. And this locker going to the outside. Beautiful springboard drop kick. Look at that. Tying up. Bridging German suplex. Is this going to be it right here, folks? Look at that locker favoring his neck. You know, at one point, does at what point does locker start? Does the thought start to creep into Lockhart's head about living to fight another day? I don't think he's quite to that point yet, but, oh, God. Minatelli might be to that point shortly. Look at this. Getting a run at it. Oh, Tongue Crushing City. Brutal to watch every time. That's like the second or third one of this match, folks. Oh, Minatelli. Not going down without a fight, though. Look at this. Oh, no. Locker tried for the suplex. Minatelli had it scouted. Oh, Minatelli. Minatelli now sending Locker to the ropes here. What's he going to go for here? Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Shades of TM Fedge and Kenta Kobayashi with those rapid chops to the chest. Oh, lights him up. Oh, no. Locker going behind. Oh, no, but Minatelli countered into an arm bar. Oh, look at that tie up. Tie up now, Lockhart into the ropes. Oh, Minatelli with a beautifully executed drop kick pinfall one, attempt. Is two, he going to? Oh, two. my God. And the number one contender for the PCW World Heavyweight Championship had to dig deep to get out of that one. Look at that, Lockhart. Lockhart. 
Lockard out of nowhere, snapping it in. There's the T-lock. He's been putting away a lot of people with this one lately. Great ring positioning, but Minatelli manages to slip out. Yeah, Lockard now going behind. Look at that big time Saido suplex. Folding up Minatelli like an accordion. How about Minatelli firing right back up. Lockard going in. Lockard going behind. Look at this. Crashing the shin right across his knee. Pinball attempt to make him deep. Oh my god. What tenacity by Michael Minatelli to still be hanging around. And this oh no. Lockard may One. be in trouble right here. Two. Minatelli. Oh, oh. Thought he was going to go high risk for a moment. Look at that. Look at that. Just attack the ribs of Tony Lockard right here. What a controversial night we've had here. Oh, God. Arm bar, but Lockard scrambles to the ropes quickly. The road to wrestle Locklips has been perilous. Oh, look at that. Great counter. German suplex with the bridge. Oh, but too close to the ropes. And this match will continue. Look at this. Locker discus. Nope. Blocked it. Oh, and another low kick right to the gut. Look at this. Minatelli. Now Locker going behind. Now bringing her back around. Look at this. Oh, it looked like he was going to go for the explosion suplex. Minatelli had it scouted, but Lockard right back on him. Look at this. There it is. There's the double under a backbreaker. Oh, and barely got his hands up to block that drop kick. Folks, it wasn't the main event we wanted, but honestly, I gotta say, this has been a pretty good main event match, folks. Oh, look at this. Locker now going behind. Oh, another German suplex. Minatelli now slow to get back to his feet. Look at that. Oh, caught him. Caught him. Oh, God. Look at Oh, look at that. Look at that. Great counter to the wrist lock by Locker. Yeah, now both these competitors favoring their necks. Lockhart has been favoring his butt. Oh, no! Oh, no! What an upset! What an... No! No, Lockhart back to his feet after that vicious kick to the head. Oh, no! But now Lockhart dumped to the outside, Two. and he is out on his feet. Three. Okay, this Meditelli going high risk. Four. Oh, my God! One. Beautiful by Lockhart. What excellent timing. Three. As Minatelli dove Four. over the second rope, Matt, uh, Tony Lockard dove under the bottom rope, causing Minatelli to miss that Tope Suicida altogether. Look at that, Minatelli, Minatelli having, to having to rally. Especially he'd already been favoring his neck. Oh, look at Locker. Locker went for it once again, but couldn't connect. Oh, pinfall attempt. Tried to steal one Two. right here. Oh, and Locker digs deep and kicks out. Of course. You know, if you don't remember, Tony Locker was on the receiving end of three consecutive Stone Gold Stunners by Mike Kurlika in the Gauntlet for Glory match. And somehow, somehow he won. Like he's just willed himself because he wants a shot at his cousin Adam Morcellus. Big time elbow drop. I have to now look at that. More kicks right to the head. Well, I'm going to crack an orbital bone with that. Look at that. Look at that. Great counter by Lockard. Lockard seems to be taking over here, but Minatelli is a dangerous competitor. Big time discus forearm right in the corner. Now Lockard, Lockard maybe putting him away right here. Let's see, what does he have lined up? And another forearm. Sending him back to the feet. Get, oh no, here it comes. There's the best super kick in the business. One. Two, three, and that's three. three, and Tony Lockard, the gauntlet for glory winner, maintains that momentum as he moves on.
on his road to Wrestleocalypse where he will challenge for the PCW World Heavyweight Championship. You know, it, momentum could mean everything right now, folks. Momentum and the fact that Lockard has been this close before. Lockard has challenged for the title before. And you know damn well he's not looking to fail to capture it again. All right, that's it for this week, folks. We'll catch you next week. Don't forget, mark your calendars. Adam Morgullis to defend against the destroyer, Pat Smith. That is next week. Folks, have a great night, and it's been a weird one.